she yet Jocelyn Jacks could be the next victim of the hook, but what made her panic and lose control of herself? That's when the victim this time she saw was Collie Carandel, the mother she has always loved and cherished. Years know that the hook is raging on PC. The news is common to Collie, and she will be living Jacksonville with children shortly after. Collie fears that her children will be put in danger by the hook. Anxiety ran high when Jocelyn was within range of the hook, meaning Jocelyn could be attacked at any moment. Collie and Jill go back to BC. Collie will want her daughter to move into the house she is in. She wants to protect and shelter Jocelyn, because she believes that no one can sneak into her house. Unfortunately, however, that may be coming soon. That's when, despite the Collie family's many security cameras, somehow the hook was able to sneak into the house and attack Jocelyn. Collie can have trouble falling asleep and wakes up in the middle of the night. She could see a flitting shadow. Then she worried and watched. The shadow that appeared in her house was of the hook, and the hook going straight into Jocelyn's bedroom. Knowing something was wrong, Collie quickly picked up a weapon, a stick or something to attack the hook. Unfortunately, the hook discovered and attacked Collie. A loud noise woke. Jocelyn, she rushed out of the room quickly, but it was probably too late. By which time, Collie could be lying in a pool of blood in front of Jocelyn's house. Jocelyn won't see the hook when the hook rushes out the window and disappears shortly after. Jocelyn will quickly pick up the phone and call nine one one, and she will also notify Sunny Carando, Michael Carando, and Joe. They arrived quickly, and Collie was in critical condition on arrival at General Hospital. While waiting for the doctor, Sunny will blame herself for not being able to protect her family members well. He will comfort Jocelyn at the point, but will, but she will also be anxious to the point of despair. Viewers know he and Collie have a beautiful love in Jacksonville. He doesn't want to end the short love if Collie dies. Jill's distressed expressions caught Sonny's attention. Hulson learned that Jill and Collie had come long way in their relationship. Sonny would be jealous of Jill, but he didn't have time to show it. What he wanted most was Collie's peace, and he quickly found the hook. He swore that the hook must die if he catches the hook. He'll also do whatever it takes to comfort Jocelyn, since Jocelyn probably won't get over the shock. Jocelyn was too young to witness these bloody attacks. Furthermore, Jocelyn was targeted a second time. If the hook is not caught, Jocelyn could be killed, and Sonny will work to prevent that. He can also defy the law by carrying out a dark plot to force the hook to surrender.